Uh, today is a spring signing day for some of our athletes, and we are not the only ones doing this across the country. So we want you to know that this is going on in many high schools today, and we want to recognize all of our student athletes in the short amount of time that we do have. Uh, we want to recognize them for the hard effort and the amount of work that they have put in here at Liberty, whether it's been on the court or down the field and, and up in the classroom. Um, so we're thankful that you came out for this wonderful opportunity. It's, it's not something um, that happens for every student athlete, but uh, Lord willing, it, it's happened to these wonderful guys. And so we're gonna introduce them and let uh, a couple other coaches from each one of the athletes talk as well. So we're gonna start here with Grant Quinn. Year varsity starter for our basketball program was a huge, huge, huge impact for us in our district and our success this year. A grand average here for his career around 13 points and five rebounds per game. Finished uh, his senior year getting second team all district and first team academic all state. Uh, we're thankful that Grant's been here, one of the best jump shooters we've had by far, probably the best dunker that we have had at our school in the 30-plus uh, year history. We're thankful for the two years that he was able uh, to be a part of our program and be um, a huge influence on what we will continue to do in the future. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ryan Furler, and I had the pleasure of coaching this guy when he was in seventh grade. I was uh, honored when his dad called me and asked if I would come to speak today. And, you know, seeing him sit right here, he was about this height when I coached him. <laughs> but you know, he had, a, he, had a, he had a lot of talent when I coached him. Uh, more importantly, he was just he was just a great kid. The intangibles, uh, you know, just the heart, the character. Uh, so I wish you all the best. God bless you. Jacob Link. Jacob is a longtime uh, Liberty student. Uh, he's actually been a four year varsity basketball player for us, a three year starter. He probably averaged, I don't know, 14 or 15 points a game for his career, scoring more than 1,000 points, uh, more than 400 rebounds, and more than 400 assists. Huge influence for our team, for our school. And uh, we, we look forward to continuing the tradition that he set for our varsity program the last four seasons. Thank you, Coach Burroughs. Uh, my name is Brad Chastain, and um, uh, I appreciate you inviting me today. I've had the privilege of working with him for a few years, part time, I guess you'd say. I told my wife one time, I said, it's great to have an adult on the bench, finally. She said, I didn't know you hired an assistant. I said, no, I'm talking about Jacob Link. Well, he was 14 years old at the time. So uh, his wits and his smart uh, demeanor and just the way he controls himself is, is unbelievable. But the package of skills, character, and a great Christian young man doesn't come along every day. So uh, it's been my privilege to work with him. I know he's going to do great at Hendrix and be a, a sure success in life. Congratulations, James. Hello, I'm Martin Hurley. I coach football. It's my privilege to uh, talk about these three football players. Uh, first one is uh, Will McClain. Yeah. about Will's character and the type of guy that he is. He is a very good football player. Very strong, very fast. Um, probably could have played tight end for us and running back, but because we had some injuries and uh, some things happened to the offensive line, we needed an offensive lineman. I know that Will did not particularly care to play offensive line, but he said, Coach, whatever I can do for the football team. And so he did. He stepped up, did a fantastic job, and I know that Hardy is very fortunate to have him. He's going to go up and join Kyle Howe and John Aaron Howe at Hardy, and that's a good thing. Great for Will. The next one is Garrett Sawyer Sawdog. Garrett is a guy that uh, is a tough guy, a really good football player for us, played
plays both ways and to play football both ways, um, it takes a lot of effort. It hurts. It's, um, it's just not a very comfortable thing. Did a fantastic job for us this year. Played uh, some defensive end for us, also played center. Also did a fantastic job on the wrestling team in Angelo State. Is very fortunate to have him coming there. And Coach Randy Mays would like to say a few more words. Thank you. Uh, and just to kind of come in on the tail end of what, what Coach Holmes said, I was very blessed and very fortunate to have uh, all three of these guys in class uh, when they were juniors. And uh, a special thanks to Will. Uh, I got to know Will only as a student when he was a junior and was told by, by these guys what a player he could be if he was healthy. Uh, I don't think it was in his mindset to be uh, a left offensive tackle, but he let me know all spring that that's what we needed him to do. Uh, he would do that. It turned out that we needed him to do that. Uh, just for, uh, not only his health at the time, probably for Nick's health on his backside, his blind side. And uh, I don't think it's a coincidence that when we beat Nolan 20 to nothing the first week of the district, that uh, Fish, Will, and, and uh, Javon were all healthy. Uh, we knew it would be a tough road to hold in the playoffs just because those three players, Coleman and Javon, Will, you might have to play because of injuries, but Will, I just want you to know how much I appreciate you making a switched offensive tackle. Uh, the only center I've ever uh, been blessed to coach at Liberty is Garrett Sawyer. Uh, we got to know each other in May of 2014. Uh, the job was up for grabs, and uh, Coach Henderson and I both felt Garrett was a little bit slow with the snap and the step at the same time. I talked to Garrett about the day before the spring game after three weeks of practice. Usually something like that takes about three months to correct. Uh, just from the tape we watched that, that weekend, he corrected it that weekend. Uh, I was not on full time until July of that year. When I, when I went back to my other job and finished it up those two months, Garrett weighed about 170, 175. When I came back, he weighed 208. And uh, it made a huge difference in the way he was able to handle people and the things he could do on the football field. Uh, this year, he had a great junior year. This year as a senior, he was not only our starting center, but started at defensive end, along with Will at offensive tackle and defensive end. Uh, the average football game is 50 to 70 snaps on one side of the ball. Four times, Garrett played over 110 snaps. Thank you, Three times, three times Will play on 110 snaps on Friday night. And that's, that, that's our man's work. And we, we thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate it. Uh, I, I feel very honored and blessed to coach and associate with all these guys. Uh, Garrett's also going to go play for uh, one of my former players, so I'm excited about that. We will, we will really miss uh, Garrett. Sorry, I will really miss him at center. We'll miss all these guys. Yes, uh, now we have Coleman Fish. Uh, went into the season, um, I guess uh, I was a little bit apprehensive about Coleman coming out from football. We had a, I had a little bit of a problem with concussions. And so, uh, I was a little bit nervous for him to be out there, but everything, and went through doctors, everything was A-OK, -okay, and so we got him all cleared to go. And I tell you what, it was just uh, it was fantastic to have him out uh, for football this year. This guy is a great leader. Um, he plays hard, he doesn't know any other way. Uh, he's kind, he's considerate, and uh, like, like Coach uh, May said, it's not a coincidence, he made a big catch against Nolan the first game uh, when we beat him 20 to nothing, and he got hurt on that play, 
And so then he was unable to play the rest of the season. And you could really tell uh, when Coleman wasn't playing, when he wasn't out on the field, of course. Just like I said, a tremendous leader. Um, also, this is his sister, Kara. I got the chance to coach her. She's a point guard on the sixth grade basketball team, and she's awesome, too. <laughs> Uh, we are definitely going to miss these guys. When you think about Liberty Athletics, when you think about, for me in particular, Liberty Football, these guys represent us in the best way possible. I'm so proud of them, and we really are going to miss them next year. What I'd like to do next is I'm going to close this in prayer, and then after I close this in prayer, I'm going to count to three, and these guys are going to sign uh, the papers. Father God Almighty, I, uh, I thank you for today. I thank you for how all the hard work and the effort and the dedication and now you have blessed these guys and they get to go on and further their education. I pray, Father, that they would be a light for you, that you would use them mightily in pushing back the darkness. I pray that they would hold strong to the convictions that you have given them. I thank you that they believe. I pray that uh, they would use their athletic ability to glorify you, to make much of you. Thank you for them. I pray that you would protect them as they are there. And uh, Father, we just pray for the best for them. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Here we go. One, two, three.